Good morning, dear students. Today, I am continuing the second part of the second lesson in geography of 8th standard. Here, you study about the different types of rocks. They are primary rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. How they are formed? Which are the different types of them? Everything you study in this chapter. Dear students, as the lesson is very lengthy, I am dividing this lesson into three parts. Yesterday you heard the first part and now you are going to learn about the second part. Tomorrow I will present the third part of the same lesson. So watch all the three parts for the better understanding of the lesson. Thank you dear teachers. Now I take you to the second part of the lesson Lithosphere. Dear students, I know you have already learnt and listened the first part. Litho means stone, sphere means area. So the area of rocks and stones. So chapter number two, Lithosphere part two. In this chapter, you study the structure of rocks then in the next chapter in the next part of the same lesson you study about the internal and external forces of the earth and underground water resources and its importance so all these you learn in this chapter now i'll take you to the lesson lithosphere there we shall study about rocks they are what actually rocks Rocks are the solid inorganic substances that are found on the earth's crust or the they are found on the surface of the earth. So two points you need to think uh, keep it in mind. One is they are solid. Secondly, inorganic substance. So these points are very important to understand the rocks. Rocks are solid in nature and inorganic substance. Rocks are actually aggregates of minerals. Rocks are formed due to various natural processes. Which are those natural processes? Let us see. Rocks are classified into three types. They are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks. Igneous rock, sedimentary rocks, Metamorphic rocks are the three classifications of rocks. Igneous rocks are also called, you know, primary rocks that we will see now. So, examples of these rocks are shown in the pictures. Dear students, the first one, the first picture is an example for igneous rocks. The second picture you are looking at or you are seeing at sedimentary rocks and the third one is an example for metamorphic rocks let us know in detail of them first of all igneous rock the word igni or igneous means fire it is derived from latin word igni or sanskrit word agni both mean the same Agni means fire. So, Igni means fire. Both Latin and Sanskrit, they are almost contemporary languages. Or Sanskrit even still older than that. Right? So, Igneous means fire. So, from the word fire, the Igneous rock has been derived. When volcanic lava erupted with lots of fire and other molten materials, it came to the surface of the earth's crust and started flowing to a distance. Then over a period of time, it became solid, cool and turned into rock. So this is called igneous rock. Igneous rocks are those which have been formed by the cooling of molten matter of the earth. When the lava erupted to the surface and flowed at a distance, and over a period of time, it become cool and solid. They are nothing but igneous rock 
rocks made up of fire igneous igneous rocks are primary rocks are one and the same because igneous rocks were the first to be formed when the volcanic eruption happens the lava cools and solid solidifies so they are called primary rocks so this is an example of primary rock or igneous rock dear students observe this chart very very important to know the classification of igneous rock first of all in igneous rock there are two types one is intrusive rock other one is extrusive rock in igneous rock there are two types intrusive rock and extrusive rock in intrusive rock there are two types one is plutonic rocks other one is dike rocks plutonic rock and dike rocks are the two examples of intrusive and one more is extrusive rock okay so extrusive rock or it is or volcanic rock they are also called volcanic rocks so in igneous rock there are two types intrusive rock and extrusive rock in intrusive rock plutonic rocks and dike rocks are the two types so in intrusive rock for the examples of plutonic rock is granite okay so granite picture is also shown there and one more type is dike rocks for the dolerite is an example are semi crystalline rock they are also called dolerite is also called semi crystalline so example picture is also shown likewise in the extrusive or lava or volcanic rock glassy or cindery basalt rocks are example so example picture is also shown here so this classification of igneous rock is very important in understanding of this classification of uh, you know about types of rocks this is an example of plutonic rock plutonic rock example is granite you have seen already granite floors so this is an example for plutonic rock it is an in example for intrusive rock so one more example for plutonic rock is dikes that is dolerite dolerite is an one more dolerite is one more example of plutonic rock now let us go for extrusive rock extrusive rock it you know lava or volcanic rock is an example for extrusive rock and in this picture you are seeing extrusive rock now let us see intrusive or you know uh, intrusive igneous rocks when lava erupts it will be unable to reach the surface so somewhere in the middle of the layers of the earth it gets settled and it loses its property as well they become cool and become solidify slowly over a period of time it becomes very hard they are called intrusive igneous rocks example shown here intrusive igneous rocks are made of large crystals and are found at greater depth inside the earth example granite diorite and gabbro so now let us know about extrusive igneous rocks extrusive igneous rocks are formed by solidification of magma above the earth surface intrusive means below the earth surface extrusive means above the earth surface and they are called extrusive igneous rocks this is granite and it's an example for extrusive igneous rocks so granite rocks let us see these rocks are generally fine grained or glassy because lava after reaching the surface of the earth cools and solidifies quickly example basalt and andesite rocks so this is an example basalt rock now let us go to the second type of classification of rock called sedimentary rocks the word sedimentary is derived from latin word sedimentum which means settling down it gets settled in the layers of the earth so the word sedimentary is derived from latin word which means settling down 
sedimentary rocks are formed by the agency of water, wind and ice. Wind, water, ice are responsible for the formation of sedimentary rocks. These natural agents like wind, water, ice break and erode the igneous rock. Igneous rocks are eroded, transported and settle somewhere. And over a period of time, sedimentary rocks are formed. Okay, so let us see. The deposit of these materials often occurs in the form of layers or strata. It, it gets formed during the different layers. Therefore, sedimentary rocks are also called stratified rocks, layer rocks. Okay, so this is what sedimentary rocks. Let us see the picture of the same. See, dear students, you can observe the layers after layers here. They are called sedimentary rocks. So, this is sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are formed after the disintegration of igneous rock. So, igneous rocks are disintegrated by the natural agents of wind, ice and water. Right? They are also called sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are also called aqueous rocks because they are formed in the water bodies. Near the water bodies or in the water bodies, they are formed, for example, lake, sea and ocean beds. So, this is an example for sedimentary rocks or stratified rocks. You can see the stratified layers in these rocks. Dear students, now I am showing you the classification of sedimentary rocks. This extract is taken from your textbook itself. Sedimentary rocks are of two types. One is inorganic, other one is organic. In inorganic rocks, there are another two types, mechanically formed and chemically formed. In mechanically formed rocks, there are two examples of rocks. One is arenaceous rocks, another one is argillaceous rocks. In arenaceous rock, sandstone is an example. In, agri, in argillaceous rocks, shale is an example. I show you the pictures of these rocks for everything you will understand better. One more is organic type. In sedimentary rock, organic type. In organic means uh, it is made from uh, the organic material. One is calcareous rock. Calcareous I repeat, calcareous rock or limestone is an example. Another one is carbonaceous rock. Calcareous and carbonaceous rocks are the two examples of organic rocks. Now let us see mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. Rocks built up by fragments of pre-existing rocks which have been produced by the process of weathering and erosion. So, by the process of weathering and erosion, these fragments of rocks have been formed. So, they are called mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. Example, sandstone that is arenaceous rock and shale is an example for argillaceous rock. Now, let us see sandstone rock. This is an example of sandstone, sandstone rock. This is an example for mechanically formed arenaceous rock. Shale rocks. Shale rocks is an example for mechanically formed argillaceous rock. So, this is an example for shale rocks. So, chemically formed sedimentary rocks, let us see. Chemically sediment, chemical sediments are commonly formed by the process of evaporation of water. Water gets evaporated due to high temperature containing salt in solution. Example, rock salt or gypsum. Let us see examples of gypsum. This is gypsum rock. Chemically formed gypsum rock. So, water is evaporated and salt is left behind. Let us see now the second type of chemically formed rocks called organically formed sedimentary rocks. Organic sediment rocks are derived from accumulation of remains of organisms, living beings, such as shells of marine organisms, remains of plants and animals. So, they are all living beings. That's why they are called organically formed sedimentary rocks. 
example limestone limestone is an example of calcareous rocks and coal is an example of carbonaceous rocks let us see the pictures of them i have show, i am showing you calcareous rock that is limestone so this is limestone calcareous rock now let us see carbonaceous rock this is coal burning coal this is an example of carbonaceous rock now i'll take you to metamorphic rocks the third type of classification of rocks metamorphic rocks are those which are formed by the process of metamorphism great change alteration of pre existing rocks so the pre existing rocks over a period of time changes into other form that is called metamorphic rocks metamorphism means great change physical change or chemical change sometimes both physical and chemical due to excess of heat and pressure dear students due to excess of heat and pressure lots of types of rocks are formed for example granite basalt limestone etc granite example is gneiss g is silent there basalt schist rock limestone marble rock sandstone quartzite rock coal graphite rock and graphite an example is diamond now i show you the pictures of all this very interesting to see all those pictures let us see metamorphic rocks are the hardest rocks on the earth example sapphire ruby emerald diamond and they are all costly precious stones as well in market they have very high value let us see sapphire dear students this is an example of sapphire let us see ruby this is ruby these are all metamorphic rocks and this is dear students emerald so these are the examples of different types of metamorphic rocks and example of one more example of uh, metamorphic rock is diamond and diamond is formed due to heavy temperature and high pressure inside the earth so dear students hope you have very well understood all these concepts the forces of the earth's crust will be taught in the third part of the lesson take care i wish you all the best watch it again tell your friends and subscribe this channel to watch and understand all the lessons effectively thank you dear teachers for telling your students to watch all these it will help them a lot thank you all the best all the best dear students